In my personal life, I didn't tell people that I did porn, ever. I always had that hope that somebody would rescue me. When my parents split up, um, I felt really lost and confused, and I was very rebellious as a teenager. You know, I was very confused. My dad told me, you know, he raised me not to have sex until I was, um, until I got married. And then my mom, on the other hand, says, if you're gonna have sex, just let me know, I'll put you on the pill. I felt like I didn't get the attention I needed. When I was 17, I started dating, and I realized that um, this emptiness inside of me, this love that I desperately wanted, I could find in boyfriends. He said if I ever got pregnant that he was gonna marry me. And I thought that that meant that I would have a family, and I thought that that meant that I would have this missing piece in my life. And, um, and when I did get pregnant, <laughs> he, he changed his mind. He decided that he wasn't ready to be a dad and that he needed to go to college. And he took me to get an abortion. I dealt with the depression um, by, I did a lot of writing. Um, I would write letters to my baby. And um, just spent a lot of time by myself. Still, still feeling empty. One day I was search, surfing the internet and I found a modeling website and the people on the website didn't look like models. They just looked like regular people. And I thought, wow, I wonder if I could do that. And so I put my pictures up on the website and people start contacting me immediately. But every email was to do nude modeling. And for a long time I said no, you know, turned these shoots down. But at a certain point, I was felt empty again, and these emails were telling me I was beautiful, and and they wanted to pay me to see me, and somehow that started being appealing to me, and made me feel desired and wanted. And eventually, I took my first job, and I worked with a photographer. Literally, just met him in a hotel room. He had one light he set up and a camera, and that was the beginning of going into that industry. I felt that my reason for living was found in relationships, and that if I didn't have a man, that I wasn't worthy of love. Each boyfriend that I had um, while I was in the industry became a part of what I was doing. I started a website. They would run my websites. They would shoot the photos. They would push me further. I was a very lonely person. I was very isolated. I didn't have friends. I always had that hope that somebody would rescue me. I always wanted something more, but it just didn't seem like that was going to be my life. And I thought, this is just how life is. This is how men are, and this is how it's going to be. I was extremely depressed, and I cried out to God, and I said, God, if you're real, you need to tell me, you need to send me a sign, let me know, because everything I know about love is twisted and perverted and just not right. I was having a casual conversation. He asked me what I did for a living, and so I told him I was a model. And he said, well, what kind of modeling do you do? I made up a bunch of stuff, and he didn't fall for it. I eventually told him that I did adult stuff and I did porn. I felt really ashamed in that moment. I mean, he's like, well, let me ask you something. Do you believe in God? And in that moment, like I knew that God had sent this person to speak to me because nobody had mentioned God to me since I was a little girl. He shared about how much God loved me and how he was my father and loves me with a fatherly love. And he asked me if he could pray with me and prayed together and I cried. Tears were just streaming down my face, and I repented, and I asked God to forgive me, and I decided at that moment I was not going back into the industry. I had to make some big choices, and it wasn't easy. <laughs> it was really hard. My identity was wrapped around a fantasy. I didn't feel beautiful. I didn't feel pretty. I didn't feel like I had anything <laughs> going for me at the time. I had a lot of um, Christian support online and um, people emailing me and encouraging me and um, just showing love to me. I did have a lot of um, shame that I carried around with me and I do feel like God 
definitely freed me from that. It took a long time and it took learning about his love for me and forgiving myself and accepting that he forget he's forgiven me as well and that I am a new person, I'm a new creation and that's what gave me freedom.